Uh, these are some environmental portraits. I feel like finding examples of this once you sort of get a sense of what it is, is relatively straightforward. There's a lot of environmental portraiture out there. A lot of editorial portraits um, would count as this, um, right? It's basically, it's not photojournalism. It's not like fashion. It's not headshots, right? Um, but we will go in and see what indeed it is, right? So this, this is a great picture, not environmental portraiture, right? It's photographed by Chris Graves um, from Extended Family. It's an older project of his. Um, and no, not good. I mean, it's good, but don't turn it in for the assignment because you will fail. Um, Irving Penn, right? Marcel Duchamp. Also, right? Nice picture. I like Irving Penn. He's great. Non-environmental portraiture, uh, fail, sorry. Um, Zun Li, right, from Father Figure. Great picture, great project, good work, but not environmental portraiture, right? Um, so this is, right? So this is a um, project by August Sander, um, and this is environmental portraiture, right? Why is this environmental portraiture? whereas the previous one was not. Um, so we have consciously considered lighting, right? Good description of the individual and the space that they're in. And we have an understanding of who they are based on that space. We also have a direct connection between the viewer and the subject, right? So if we look back at Zun Li, right? This is much more like photojournalism, right? This is part of telling a story we just see a little piece of each of these people. There's more than one person in the frame, which is not necessarily a deal breaker. Um, the lighting feels more like it's just the lighting that was in the space rather than it being sort of set up. It's much more informal. Um, for all those reasons, while this is a good picture, it is not environmental portraiture, right? There is no environment here, right? The fact that he's Marcel Duchamp, I know that only because at the bottom it says Marcel Duchamp, um, right? I could change that and you'd be like, I don't know, maybe he's a elevator compactor guy, right? The context of the environment is missing, right? So not environmental portraiture um, and same thing here, right? There's a little bit more context than we have, right? Like the outfit, whatever, there's something behind him that could be a, like a wall rather than a studio, um, but it's not environmental portraiture, right? There is no environment, even though we do have the direct gaze, even though we do have the lighting, doesn't work. So yes to August Sander. Um, yes to Latoya Ruby Frazier. Um, and again, right, I'm picking out pictures that I think are appropriate. Um, there is work in Latoya Ruby Frazier's um, projects that is not, right, that is more straight documentary, that is um, more conceptual, that is more just sort of portraiture detached from a sense of space, but this right here, environmental portrait, right? Her, grandma, setting, we understand things about who these people are, where they are, or excuse me, we understand things about who these people are based on where they are, our reading of the room, of the objects. The lighting is a balance of sort of natural and artificial light. Um, we have a direct connection to the viewer, right? Again, Latoya Ruby Frazier from this funeral, um, right, there's this direct address to the camera, right, in her posture. Again, there is artificial lighting that has been brought in. It's just a little bit heavy handed. Um, and we understand who they are, what's going on based on that context, right? If we cut out her figure, put it against a white wall, right, we would not understand what was happening, right? Only because we have this setting does it make sense. Uh, Larry Sultan. Um, so this is from a book and project called, uh, I think, yeah, I'm such a bad art historian, Pictures from Home. Um, but they're great. These are his parents, um, right? And we have like, you know, the costume, i.e. the clothing, right? Um, tells us stuff about who they are, the place tells us about who they are, the relationship between them, right? That's their well composed, nicely lit, um, all good stuff, right? There's his dad. 
Um, you know, we have all of these signifiers of, you know, socioeconomic class, time period, um, you know, sort of like who he is. We assume that he does some sort of like office kind of thing, right? If you're like, he's a banker, he's a middle manager, right? Like, you're not like, oh, that guy, I think he does lawn maintenance, right? That is not what we're getting from the setting, the outfit, all of this stuff um, in that picture, right? It is telling us something about him based on the environment that he's in, what he looks like, all those good things. Um, now, saying that, let's go back a little bit. Um, you know, am I making assumptions about all of that? Well, yes, I think that that is a very correct thing to say, right? I'm assuming that he's not a gas station mechanic, right? Um, I'm making those assumptions based on sort of a broad um, cultural definition of what spaces and uh, sort of outfits say about people. Um, so I don't want to pretend that the environmental portrait either is always right or that my reading of it is always right. I think that it's important to recognize that they, this is sort of based on an assumption of a shared understanding of how these symbolic systems of meaning work, right? And if, uh, you get a FaceTime call from um, one of my daughter's friends while you're trying to give a slide lecture, uh, you will be annoyed and you will go now and put your phone on airplane mode. So hold on. There we go. Um, so yeah, right? We are, it's necessary for us to think about who our audience is and how they're going to understand the picture that we're giving them if we want to communicate specific things about who these people are. Um, it's also possible that we will misread them. Um, it's also possible that you will show them to people who will not get the sort of language of meaning that you're putting in front of them or will interpret it in a different way, right? Based on everything from like a lack of particular cultural knowledge to, you know, being like, I don't know, they must be a poor person because they're black, right? And you're like, no, you fucking racist. Um, so yeah, right? Like every time we look at photography and try to figure out something about the person based on sort of these external factors, there's always some like gap between reality and what your audience thinks. Um, so keep that in mind, right? Keep that in mind as a viewer, keep that in mind as a photographer. Um, and as you're making the images, think about how your viewer will interpret them. Think about who your viewer is. Think about who you want your viewer to be, right? If you're like, okay, well, my audience is going to be this group of people, but I, you know, I don't really care what they think. I'm making it for another group of people. That's fine, right? Like, do it. Um, if you're like, I'm making this picture only for Beyonce fans and they will get these references behind me, like, that's cool, right? I'm not going to get it, but, you know that's who the audience is, then you go for it. Um, put in your write-up so that I know what the fuck's going on. 